hello everyone welcome to my channel so in today's video i'm going to share with you guys some items that i recently purchased from different stores so i'm going to start with sephora i purchased a little bit of skincare there and let me share it with you all this is the box and here we have just a little bit of items this one is the Murad Hydration Prebiotic 4-in-1 multi Cleanser. And this helps removing face, eye, and lip makeup. It removes dirt and excess oil, replenishes with prebiotics, and it's also hydrating. So I'm excited to try this one. Um, it says I can use it in the morning and in the afternoon. So we'll see how this works. I'm interested in using this. And then I got a little a sample from Tatcha, the Dewy Skin Cream. Um, I'm very excited to try this one because I have always tried, I'm sorry, I have, I have always wanted to try um, skincare from Tatcha and this will be my, my first time trying it. So we'll see how I like this. Let's try a little bit here. Definitely see some luminosity there and then here I have two samples <clears throat> this one's the Murad by the sea eyes dark circle corrector this one is the Alpine Beauty uh, and this is a moisturizer I've never tried anything from this brand so that's a little sample to try it out and this one was on sale which I decided to try out. I love um, sheet masks and this is very moisturizing and also helps with brightening the face. And this is the lychee face mask. So very excited to try this. <laughs> okay, and then next box is from a brand called Solaris um, Laboratories. I've actually tried this brand before. These are just some face tools. Um, I purchased from this brand about two years ago. Exactly, actually, two years ago. What I had purchased before were these, these face rollers. Um, I actually have other colors in this one. I have like the blue one, which is the, the opal. Um, I have the tiger's eye and the jade one as well so this one I had before but it broke on me once <laughs> so I decided to pick it out again because I love the, the color in this I wish I had kept it because to show you guys but I didn't keep it since it was a little dangerous because it broke here in half I love this this is very refreshing on your skin it's very cooling especially if you leave it inside your fridge or if you have a skincare fridge, well, that's gonna be nice in the mornings or in the evenings once you go to bed or before you go to bed. And then this one I have not tried before. This is a gua sha. So I'm excited to try this one. As you can see, it comes with the instructions in the back how you can use it. Um, but I'm planning to look more into it um, I saw a video here in YouTube uh, about how to use this because I've never tried this before. This is actually a little hard to take out. There we go. <laughs> okay, so this feels very smooth and cooling as well. It helps with lymphatic drainage, so that's very exciting. Let me put it back in here. Now, these are kind of pricey, but... Um, even this time, I waited for a sale um, to purchase these items. These, these were about 50% off when I purchased from the website. And then this last one. This one is like the Nurse Jamie one. That's very famous. <laughs> but that one's very pricey. And this one is too, but I, I said for 50% off, um, I decided to pick it up. And then as you can see, it has these four, 
four on each side there's three sides that have this so you're just supposed to roll it on your skin on your face and this is going to help a lot um, again with you know anti-aging and other things so I'm excited to try this one as well it feels pretty heavy the the wand feels heavy so we'll see um i think not not all of i believe not everyone can use these kinds of, of wands i'm not sure why but maybe you can look into it <laughs> but yeah i'm excited to try this one and then next let me grab another box okay now let's look into my alta order which i have a lot of things in here <laughs> So I purchased these as gifts. Uh, this is a brush from Wet Brush. Sorry, this box is a little big. Let me move it here. So this one was on sale as well. It is coconut oil infused. So it's supposed to help with shiny hair. I'm excited for that one for the gift. And then I have another brush here, but this one is from the brand Tangle Teaser. I actually own a brush like this myself. That's why I decided to, to gift it. And this one has like a, a brush holder. This is very cute with the cats. And then the other one is also from Tangle Teaser. And this one is also for detangling. And this is a wet brush. Let me show it to you. Okay, so this is how it looks like. As you can see, it has two different layers, which that helps detangle your hair a little easier when it's wet. So I really love these kind of brushes. But the one that I own actually has the, the, the handle with it. So let me see what else I... Okay, and then I also have this headband, which this is from the Hair Edit. It's very cute. It was $11.79. I didn't get this one on sale. This one I paid full price for it, but that's very cute for spring. And then I got another skincare item, which is from The Ordinary. Um, this one is a very affordable brand. And this is the 100% organic cold press um, rose hip seed oil so I'm excited for this one because I do have a little bit of hyperpigmentation due to hormonal acne so I've heard this one's very good to help aid with um, hyperpigmentation so hopefully it does help and I don't know if I'm supposed to apply this it says once a day so I'll probably be doing this at night and then another item that I got is, the rest is pretty much just makeup. <laughs> Most of these were on sale. This one is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. And this one I got it in the shade Light Beige. Um, I've tried their Camel Concealer. Oops. I've tried their Camel Concealer, the, the original one, the one with the black lid. But I actually don't like it for my under eyes since it did crease on my under eyes. So I just used it up for eyeshadow primer. I just used it up as an eyeshadow primer. So let me see how this feels. That feels pretty smooth. And then I also got the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer. And this one's in the shade... 20. I think that's in the shade 20. I've never tried this before from Juvia, so I'm very excited. This one was also on sale. Um, I wanted to get their foundation as well, but I decided just to pick the concealer first. Oh, this one seems very light for my skin tone, so we'll see if that's going to work out for me or not. Or not. But this, actually, this is actually a pretty big tube, it seems. It has 0.34 ounces. 
and the one from e.l.f. has 0.2 ounces so yeah this one definitely has a lot more than than the e.l.f. concealer we'll see about those and then I purchased this palette from Dose of Colors a collaboration with I Love Sarah E. Um, I looked online to see if this was still available and it actually isn't I think anymore this one was um kind of like a hidden sale on Ulta it was $17.50 let me see if I could swatch some of these for you guys if you're interested well I don't think it's available so <laughs> I those to here These feel very smooth, actually. Oh, that one looks a little bit patchy. We'll see. And then... This one down here. Peachy one. This green one. That's very pretty. And then... This black one. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is really nice and pretty. There are all the swatches. So yeah, I'm happy I snatched this one <laughs> from their site. Okay. And then I have more palettes here. I have two more. Well, actually I have I have three more. But two of them were also on sale. And the other one wasn't. So let me show you the two I got from, from ColourPop. The... Ménage à moi and the uh, Boudoir Noir. <laughs> I totally butchered that. Okay, let me open this one. I wash my hands so that I could do some more swatches. I have not swatched these since I received them, so let me swatch these for you. They're very pretty. A mauve palette. And it seems like it has some glitters. Let me check in the back. Yeah, the Confess one is a glitter and big teeth. Oh, and this one too, no drama. Let me see. So this one's probably a, a pigment. I'm not interested in the glitter, so I won't swatch those. But let me see. They feel smooth. That one looks pretty. This is probably like a very bridal palette <laughs> and a spring palette as well. It's very pretty. This is a, a sequin shadow as you can see with the specks of, of glitter. And then this one. So yeah, very pinky mommy shade. Let's skip that one. Let me go into this one here. That one seems a little patchy, maybe. Oh, this one looks so pretty. So nice. And then this other one. Also another sequin shade. And this pigment over here. Seems like yeah, it's very greedy, so it's definitely a pigment. So those are all the shades there. Those two look very pretty to me. So excited to try that. Let me put this away. And then let's swatch the other one. Okay, that's how this one looks. Very pretty. Gold and some green shades over right here. This one, this one looks pretty too. So let me swatch this one for you all. This one's also a pressed glitter, so I'm not swatching that one since I don't use any pressed glitters on my eyelids. That's like a banana shade. <laughs> Oops, sorry. That one's pretty. 
very shimmery. So nice. These are so smooth as well. And then let me try. This is like a, a pukey yellow. It's pretty nice. So let's get that one. This one's very gold. <laughs> and then let's try this green one. That one looks nice. It doesn't look patchy. This one here. A neutral color. Another sequence one. You can see the little specks of, of shimmer there. And then this next one called Nap. And the last one. How oh, was that an ugly swatch? <laughs> Oh boy. That's the camera's not picking up, but it looks it has green undertones. Yeah, it's definitely green, but the camera's not picking it up right. So those are all the swatches from that one. Very nice. Okay, so now let's try the next one. And then these two are actually still on sale at Alta's website, just in case you're interested and want to grab these. They are still in stock. Okay, this next one is from Nobla Cosmetics, the side-by-side -side nude palette. I had been eyeing this one for a, a long time since it launched. I was waiting for a sale, but I just decided to grab it at its full price. So this is what it looks like. It's very pretty. I'll show it to you like this. <laughs> very neutral shades. So cute and pretty. Ah, I can get it to hold up. Okay, so I'm gonna put this swatch here. The shimmers feel smooth and cushiony. The matte, this matte feels smooth. And then this one here, that's a very pretty shade. Can you see that? Oh, that's look pretty. And then, oh, I don't want to dirty it. <laughs> I like keeping my palettes as clean as possible. <laughs> I'm very picky with that. And then let me try this one here. Wow, that's pretty. And then the gold one. This one looks like the one from ColourPop. That shade. The one we just swatched. This one looks very cool toned. As well as this one over here. Called Clan. some of the swatches so let me swatch this one called better society and the one underneath it as well this one and this one they seem very pretty oh yeah they look so so stunning they look pretty <laughs> can't wait to try this one out okay the next palette i'm sorry next item <laughs> is so i received this gift bag with a lot of products sample size products actually as you can see there's a lot of things in there which i don't know if you guys want to see this this is quite a lot of things <laughs> 
and you had to purchase a certain amount so that you could receive this with your with your items so yeah i picked the pink one and there was another option but um i these were more eye-catching to me so oops we have a mascara here i'm just gonna go over them very quickly i'm not interested in diva curl <laughs> And then another Murad Correcting Serum, a Whey Scalp and Body Scrub, let me see what else I got, Grown Alchemist, this is a facial cleanser, never try nothing from them, this is Bliss, a sheet mask, um, we have Petrol Patology. <laughs> These are just some eye gels. I've tried these before and I enjoy them for a pamper day. And then this is the Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior um, 21 Plumping Moisturizer and Serum. I've also tried this one before and I would definitely purchase this one. This is the Peach and Lily, a cleanser, a sample size perfume from Viva La Juicy in Le Bubbly. It seems to smell nice. I've tried this one before, the Gucci Bloom. I've also had it in, in a sample size. I've never purchased the full size. It smells good too. And then this one is a Juice Beauty Blemish Clearing Serum. I've never tried that one. Another perfume. I've actually owned this one and I finished the whole bottle. It was a gift um, to me. I enjoyed that one as well. And then this is another mascara from KVD, which they're now rebranding. That was a mascara. A Cover FX setting spray. I've tried a setting spray from them, but it's the, the elixir one. So I don't know about this one. So excited to try that one. And then we have a hair item, which is from Pureology. And this is a leaving leave-in spray so it says a color fanatic so i don't know if this is supposed to work for hair that has been um dyed i don't know oh yeah it says here for color treated hair so i don't i've never i'm sorry it's been a while since i've colored my hair so i'll probably pass this one to somebody else and then this is the cerave facial moisturizing lotion i really like this brand and then more sample sizes here from Avene. And this is the Hydrance Aqua Gel. I want to try their other moisturizer, but I don't remember what it's called. But we'll give this one a try. This is a deep cleansing oil from DHC. I've heard many good things about it. But it contains, I'm not sure if olive oil. And that's why I have not tried this brand before. But I need to look into the ingredients because I don't like using olive oil on my skin and then this one is the glam go glam glow super mud clearing treatment i've tried this one before for whenever i get hormonal acne and it's pretty good this one is the we dad curl shaper um this is a conditioner so i'm excited to try this one because i actually do have curly hair and then I, I've not... Oh yeah, I have tried this one before. This is a a serum as well. Like, I really like that one. This is the Botanics Hydrating Serum. I've never tried nothing from that brand. And then this is Fikai. A shampoo and a conditioner. It seems that this is also for color treated hair. So I'll be passing this one along as well. And then we have another Gucci perfume sample. And the last item here is from Kiehl's, the Ultra Facial Cream. I'm interested in this one. I need moisturizers right now. <laughs> I'm on the lookout for one. It seems lightweight. So, yeah, it says right here. <laughs> Daily Lightweight Hydrating Formula. I'm excited to give this one a go. So, yeah, it seems like I'm set for a while with samples <laughs> skincare and hair care and some makeup and cleaning with this mascara well two mascaras oops this one does not go here okay, let me 
put this away so we could open the next box. Okay, my next box is from KKW Beauty. This launched a few weeks ago, I think, and these are the matte palettes for spring 2021. I purchased both of them, the mauve and the honey one. So let's take a look at these palettes. I actually already swatched and used this one, so I cheated a little bit on this one. And I did enjoy it. It's very, very pretty. Um, I remember there was a patchy one. I think it was, I think it was this one. It was a little bit patchy on my eyes, but once I worked with it, it was okay. Yeah, I think it was, it was this one. But this is very pretty. Right, as you can see, all of these shades. I think this is an standard shade. <laughs> so let's swatch this a little bit for you. Yeah, I really like this one. Not many people talk about KKW Beauty. Um, not I have not tried much of their brand. I just purchased their collaboration with Mario, and I enjoyed those two palettes. So these have been my other palettes from her and this is the honey palette this one I have not swatched I have not tried on my eyes yet or anything so I'm very excited to try this one you can see they're all matte they're very pretty uh, let me see how they feel they feel very smooth let's try this one here yeah so just a very warm neutral palette Especially these right here those are really calling out my name <laughs> so let me swatch some as well to see how the formula is I'm gonna go straight into these <laughs> they seem more appealing to me oh wow yeah they're pretty this one very is very pastel -y. but this one looks so so gorgeous and then let me also try and swatch. Um, let me go with this purple here. This green. I love green eyeshadow. Yeah, that's nice. These shimmers are very pretty. Very pretty. And then let's swatch another matte. Let me go with this one. This one's called Mexicana. Yeah, that's so pretty. Okay, and then we have more palettes. <laughs> this one's still available in case you want to grab it. Now it's still available. Now let me show you my last set of palettes. And this is a box from ColourPop. It's a pretty bulky box for what I got, <laughs> I think. So this is what I have here. These are just the empty palettes these were on sale i grabbed two of them they were five dollars each i'm planning on putting some some eyeshadows here oh this is the same one <laughs> and then this is also an empty one 
that one's a nine palette. It could fit nine palettes in here. They don't come with a mirror. That's only the negative, but they were all on sale. So this one was four dollars, I think. This one should be twelve ten. And this one was full price. This one was eight dollars. But I decided to get it so that it could match these ones <laughs> as well. I love butterflies. Butterflies is my favorite. So these are very pretty. And then I also grabbed these eyeshadow palettes, which I had been eyeing for a long time since they launched, especially this one. But it was usually out of stock or whenever it was in stock, I didn't have money to purchase it. <laughs> and this one as well, you know, that usually happens with ColourPop. They sell it quickly, but then... It takes them a while to put them back in stock, and once they're back in stock, I don't have money. <laughs> so, here is this one, a very neutral palette. Well, it's more cool toned, but this is, let me swatch these metallics and shimmers here. This one, this one seems more like a topper. Wow, that one as well. I need to grab that one again because you can't really see it. Let me grab this one again. Which one was it? This one. Okay, there we go. I didn't grab enough. So they look very pretty. This is more of, a, of an everyday palette in my opinion. And then this one, the wine and only. So I've heard my knee rave about this one and see how well it looks oh this one does have a mirror but to be honest I am that kind of person that leaves the film on there and everything I don't know why I'm just like that <laughs> uh, such a few here and this one Okay, let's put them here. Oh, that one looks nice. And this last one here. Wow, that one's pretty. Like an eggplant color and brown. It has brown and purple in it. So I'm excited to try all of these. And then the last one is called wild child okay so this one is very pretty on the promo pictures it's very cute packaging <laughs> again comes with the mirror but i never remove the sticker from there <laughs> i have no idea why oh this one seems like it's in glitter oh no it's not okay so this one's this one actually has the little asterisk on there. How weird. This one seems like it's a glitter one. Let me swatch these. Yeah, that's very, very beautiful. This, this speaks to me a lot. Oh, wow. That is blinding, blinding. <laughs> Let me see this one. Yeah, this is a glitter. I don't know why the... They didn't mark it there. So it's a, a sequin a sequin one. And the last one. Yeah, these are very pretty. But I, I don't plan on using this one. This one is a pressed glitter, you could tell. So very nice. That's the palette. I think I have one last item which is not makeup or anything it's just uh, a sweater let me share it with you guys i purchased that one at target it's from target oh i was actually i don't remember about this one i did remove the tag from this one but a very cute headband to wear this one's more for like fall but i usually like very fall colors throughout the year as you can see 
my green sweater. I love these fall colors year round. And then this one's a sweater. You know what? Let me remove the box. The color is very pretty to me. I picked this up because since we're still kind of in the middle of transitioning from winter to spring, there are still some cooler days. So I picked this up because it's a sweater and because it is actually, um, <laughs> what's it called? It's, it's a spring color to me. So I've never had anything in this color. You can see the material is kind of see-through. And this cost, oh, it doesn't say how much it cost. But yeah, this is very pretty. I'll pop a picture up in the screen so that you guys can see it, how it looks. Um, and actually, there are many different colors in this one. Um, I decided to pick this one. I don't know how many colors are left or how many sizes are left because these were going pretty quickly. So if I find anything, I'll link it down below. Actually, I'm going to link anything that I find in my description box. Anything that I, is, is still available, I'll link it for you guys. Um, that way you guys can find it more quickly. Forgot to mention this product too. This is from Timeless. This is a vitamin C serum and it's actually a 20% vitamin C and I've actually heard many great things about this one. I've tried other vitamin C's before like the one from Pericon AMD, Maylove, um, what's that other one? Mad Hippie and the last one that I tried was Apollo's Choice which in my opinion has been the one that has worked better on my skin so I'm very excited to try this one this is a huge huge bottle a four ounce bottle so hopefully it doesn't go bad on me <laughs> before I, I I use it so yeah I'm very excited to try this one I have I actually got this one 50% off they do have many sales throughout the year so I think they also carry this at Target, but it could be hard to actually find it in store since um, it's a very popular skincare right now item. Um, so I would recommend you actually grabbing this from from their I'm sorry from their website. So I'll go ahead and try to see if I can link this. If not, um, you can go ahead and go to, I think it's um, Angie from Hot and Flashy. This is where I heard the recommendation from. She has a link where you, if you click on it, you could also get some coin off. So yeah, go ahead and check this out. But I am very excited to see how this works on my skin. So yeah, this one was the last item that I forgot to mention. So yeah guys, this has been my haul. Obviously, as you can see, I am a makeup junkie. <laughs> so I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and also the bell right next to it. That way you won't miss any of my future videos. And I hope to see you all on my next video. Bye guys.